This conference is about more than just making a statement about the current economic condition of Europe's labor market. It's about how to get Europe's next generation to power the economy in future. Not an easy task given that youth unemployment is running stubbornly over 20 percent. The numbers are staggering. The likelihood of a young employment age person being out of work is more than twice as high as for an adult. The economic loss, according to one EPP Group report, is an estimated 153 billion euros in the member states due to the disengagement of young people from the labor market. Meanwhile, unemployment has jumped by one-third among women under 25 in the last four years. Ineza Valdera, EPP Group member from Latvia, said there was a strong contrast between countries like Germany and Austria, with relatively lower rates around 15 percent, and those of Latvia and Greece, with rates of 28 and 50 percent, respectively. It cries out for an exchange of fresh thinking among the member states. In terms of youth employment, uh, we can learn from Austria and Germany because we see the numbers and the numbers are low. And I see already uh, my colleagues, uh, which were um, present some views on this, how they achieved. And I think there is a good pos possibility to transfer to another countries. Because uh, as I explore this situation, in each country there is something good, something valuable to, to spread uh, over the, uh, other countries. Finnish EPP Group member Sari Essaya says there is no greater pressing problem. Politicians should take this now seriously and understand that this is the major problem of EU at the moment. It's not the banking union, it's not the crisis of euro, it's the youth themselves. They, we have to help them now. And also that we should understand that, uh, that young people, they need encouragement. Essaya said there is no silver bullet but a good start is the up to 8 billion euros in funding which governments have pledged as part of the so-called Youth Guarantee Scheme. Well, in my country, Finland, we have implemented Youth Guarantee Scheme and we hope that this would be some kind of model for whole Europe. We know that with this program in Finland, we have managed to reduce uh, the number of unemployed or the persons of unemployed uh, with two persons now within the first six months. So this is very encouraging. SES said Europe's politicians needed to take the problem far more seriously. Well, when we are having our political speeches, they are the priority number one. But when we are use, using our budget money, it seems that uh, they are not that important. And that's a huge mistake because we are now talking about the future of the whole EU, the future of the whole Europe. If we are losing this young generation, we are losing the future of the Europe. With budget cuts continuing throughout the EU, Europe's young workers are especially vulnerable to the axe. Helping them get back into work or to set up their own businesses will be crucial to help easing Europe's overall jobs malaise. Find out more about the activities of Parliament's largest political force by going to eppgroup.eu. Thanks for looking in and see you again soon.